guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. So I do look a bit of a mess, but I was quite literally sat down on the couch and decided it was about time I did this video. So you're not going to see my face for any of this anyway, because you're going to be seeing the books. So don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so it has been, well, if you've been following my channel, I've been doing 31 books in 31 days in August. And a lot of those books I didn't like and a lot of them still on my shelves. So I thought by the end of this video, um, or by the end of that challenge, I would do an unhaul of my shelves. So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to try and be as ruthless as possible and get rid of books that I've really liked, but I just don't need on my shelves. I really like that I've moved somewhere where I have so much more space for books. That is great. That is true. Um, and I love it. But I also just don't feel the need to hoard books. I'm not, I, as much as I'd like to be the person who just collects a thousand books to become a library, I'm not that person. And I just get a little bit stressed out by the clutter. So I'm going to go through my books shelf by shelves. There's obviously some shelves, like this one, I'm not going to get rid of anything on. Um, but there's some shelves that I think I'm going to get rid of loads. I'm also going to go through my TBR shelves because I do not need this many books. And I even have some overstock underneath of my uh, desk. So I guess let's just get started on these and um, yeah, enjoy this unhaul. Hope it motivates you to do your own if you want to. So as you can see under my desk, I am starting with down here because there is a bit of a mess. So it's a bit chaotic down here, but I want to go through here. A lot of these are Liam's. Liam has a nice big comic book collection. Um, some more of Liam's comics. I mean, some of them are mine, but it's fine. I thought we'd go through this first. I'm going to have to do handheld down here, so ignore this. It will not be this annoying for the rest of the video. First up, we have my One Direction annuals, my Union J annual. I'm not getting rid of these. Sorry, no. I'm also not getting rid of, getting rid of Horror Store. <laughs> I liked it. Those are my granddad's copies of Dune, and these books are also my granddad's. I'm not getting rid of them. That corner book, I'm not getting rid of. I'm not getting rid of any of these. However... My CJ Tudor collection. I own all the CJ Tudor books signed. Um, every single one of them. And I have the arc that's not signed. I just haven't loved the majority of CJ Tudor's books. I loved the other people. I didn't like this book. I DNF this book. And I thought this book was fairly good. But I didn't like obsess over it. So I think it's time I pass these on to someone who would actually enjoy having a signed CJ Tudor collection. And so is stranger things darkness on the edge of town i just don't see myself reading this at all so i'm just i'm just gonna let it go i'm just gonna let them all go well that was a very good start okay now that we have done a rather large unhaul of the fair i think we're gonna move on to these shelves starting on this shelf this is my kingdom of the wicked shelf most i have these violent delights fairy loot edition i'm gonna keep this I'm going to keep my standard edition of Kingdom of the Wicked because I did a lot of tabbing. <laughs> and I'm going to keep my fairy loot editions of both Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Cursed. This is my standard edition of Kingdom of the Wicked. Oh, sorry, Kingdom of the Cursed, which I didn't have when I first read it and I wanted to tab it. So I'm going to keep this one because I want to have it matching tabs as Kingdom of the Wicked. But I do have here, unnecessarily, a third copy of Kingdom of the Cursed. This is the signed Wardstones edition. Uh, I just do not need three copies of this book. And I have my fairy loot, I have my standard, I just do not need a Wardstones edition. So I'm going to get rid of this one, because I'm sure someone will want to have a signed edition. So this is going to go, and that leaves like the perfect space to have my fairy loot and standard edition of Kingdom of the Cursed. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. This is kind of just like my general fantasy, a lot of fairy loot edition on here. So first of all, we have this edition of these Vine Delights, which is the Owl Crate. So yes, I do have two editions of a book I don't really love, but I absolutely love the reverse dust jacket art on this one. So I'm keeping it. <laughs> Next to that, we actually have the US editions of Shadow of the Fox and Soul of the Sword. I didn't like this book very much, but I loved this one. And these are the US editions. And this one is signed. So I really don't want to get rid of these. Oh, no, I don't need them. Oh, I just don't need them. Like, I really enjoyed them. I only just got them, but I only really liked this book. And I didn't love this one. And that is a signed Shadow of the Fox. Like, someone could love that. 
but it's hard to know like i'm happy to get rid of this one because i don't really care about this one but this one i really liked um, but i don't I'm not really someone who likes keeping one book in a series i really get stressed by that but like i have no intention of continuing the series so right i'm gonna get rid of both of these which really hurts my soul Next we have Only a Monster. Now I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was a really, really good YA story. This is the Fairy Loot edition. And I, I really liked it. I think I gave it four stars and I was really pleasantly surprised. But I don't think I liked it enough to continue on with the series. Like I feel like I got what I wanted to get out of it and I'm done with it now. And this could be a perfect book for somebody else to read. So I think I want to get rid of it, but not because it was bad. We have next The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones. I recently received this and read it and I really, really enjoyed it and I'm going to keep it because even though it wasn't perfect, it's a Welsh mythology fantasy and I just really enjoyed it. So I fancy having that on my shelves as a Welshie. Next we have These Hollow Vows. I loved this first book. I did not love the second book, which is a bit depressing. And I do have the Fairy Loot edition coming to match it. I'm going to keep this for now. Same here. I have The Prison Healer and The Gilded Cage here. And I do have the third book coming in the Fairy Loot Editions because that's what these are. I'm keeping these. I think this series is so good. The third book, not so much. But these two books, amazing. And for now, I'm keeping these editions, but I'm not keeping them forever because I refuse to pay. Okay, sorry, bike. I refuse to pay another almost £100 for the next three books when they come out. So for now I'm keeping them, but I don't think I'll be keeping them for very long. I made so much progress on this shelf and that was surprising because I really love this shelf. So I'm shocked. Okay, so I really don't see a lot going on this shelf. These are my Zodiac Academy books. I own the seventh one. It's over on my TBR shelf. I will not be getting rid of these. This is like <laughs> the best series to ever exist. So these are staying. They will not be leaving. Um, I have the Cruel Prince puzzle from Aluma Crate. I love it. I have the Fairy Loot editions of the first two books, which I adore. They're like my prized possession. I'm keeping them. And then I have the three original hardbacks. Now I'm not getting rid of these because I've had them to death and I'm very happy with them. The only book I don't like on this shelf is How the King of Alfheim Lynch Hates Stories, but I really fancy having this on my shelves because my sister is currently reading the series and I would really like to let her borrow this so that she can like, have all the illustrations in it. So, yeah, basically no progress made on here. This is just my Kindle and yeah, knickknacks. So I'm afraid there wasn't a lot of progress on that, sorry. Okay, we're getting to the point where angles are hard to get. This is my graphic novel shelf. Again, nothing is going to go from here. I have my Sheets and Delicates, which I really, really enjoy. I have my Heartstopper series, the colouring book, and then Nick and Charlie. Um, I didn't love Nick and Charlie. I gave it five stars, but I was delusional. I actually think this was like a 3.5 maybe. It was a birthday present and I don't want to get rid of it, so I'm keeping it. And then Fangs, I absolutely love that book, so that is staying. Now this is truly an impossible angle. What can, what am I supposed to do? Um, <laughs> here we have the, what are these? The Diviners books. I don't love these books. I'll be honest with you. The first one I really do love. The second one I absolutely despise. One of the worst books I've ever read. And the other two I'm kind of impassive about. However, I'm so do a reread of these. I just love the vibes of this series and even though it's always disappointing to me there's just something about them that feels wholesome and i can't wait to read them again this fall season um so i'm not getting rid of them because i'm really excited for my reread even though i didn't love them i then have room 119 by tf lintz look at my awful tabbing that i used to do um, I was sent this to a review two years ago and I'm keeping it. I annotated the book and my granddad actually borrowed it before he passed. I think this was the last book he actually read. So it's got like a lot of emotion for me and I'm not getting rid of this book. However, I need to go through and sort out these tabs because that is embarrassing. <laughs> I then have two Katie Prisma books. These are the first two books in the Marionette series, keeping them. I have two books back here by Kalani Booth, my 
I would say my favourite smut writer, maybe maybe joints first with Lee Gold. I have my selection books. I'm going to be getting rid of this short story collection. As lovely as it is, um, it has got some beautiful illustrations. Hang on, let me find one. Um, okay. <laughs> like this one. They are beautiful. However, I read this in 31 books in 31 days and I just did not care for this book. Just like I didn't care for the last two in the series, so I got rid of them. I don't care about this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. I have two Katie Roberts books. These are the um, Touch of Taboo series. Love these books. Keeping them. Credence, my favourite probably book of all time. And then we have these books, which are the L. Kennedy Off Campus series. Now, these are not perfect by any means. I feel like they're not great but you kind of just love reading them because they're like an easy read and yeah I feel like I couldn't say anything that I f and I just feel like I'm gonna keep them because I feel like when I'm in a sad mood they'd be the perfect reread because I love the campus setting even though the books aren't great so they need to stay okay so it wasn't great but we did get rid of one book and I'm happy with that so I think while we're on the floor, we may as well just get all of the terrible bottom shelf angles complete because this is taking the mic otherwise coming back down here. Um, I have my four truly devious hardbacks. No chance in hell am I getting rid of these. This is my favourite mystery series ever. Absolutely love them. I cannot wait to reread them this month because I feel like September and October is the perfect read for those. Then we have the Inheritance Games duology. I do have the third book up on my TBR shelf and I'm so excited about finishing it and i'm starting it today twin crowns this is the fairly edition i had the arc which i've gotten rid of i like this book i gave it a four and this is a gorgeous copy but i don't love the book in terms of the fact it's going to be a series and i just feel like it was a standalone that they tried to cash grab out of to be honest so as much as i enjoyed it i wouldn't reread this and so i'm going to pass it on then we have my Good Girls Guide to Murder series. Again, one I'm so desperate to reread. Then I have Jade City, one of my most recent five stars. So glad I own this and love it. Priory of the Orange Tree. I didn't love this book. <laughs> However, do you know how good that looks on my shelves? Knowing I read that beast, it's staying. And then we have Crave and Crush, which are two books in the, what's it called? I think it's just called the Crave series. It's like a new adult Twilight but better because it's got loads of different characters in it it's just really fun um i can't see myself keeping these forever because i found out through my friend robbie that these are no longer publishing in paperback they are going to only be continuing in hardback and that kind of upsets me but for now they're fine <laughs> moving swiftly along the last bottom shelf so it shouldn't be this bad of an angle for too long <laughs> first up we have my um one of these throne of glass throne of glass books I can see myself replacing these with the hardbacks one day, but mm, for now they can stay. I have my Throne of Glass hardback collector's edition, definitely a keeper. Same with the Court of Thorns and Roses one, it's just so beautiful. Honestly, it's a travesty that I keep them down here, I don't know why I do that. I have my second copy of A Court of Silver Flames, this is a signed edition. It stays down here because ugh, I'm not going to read this copy. It's signed. I do have the paperback US edition of Avatar, the first book. It has a tiny bit of water damage on the top, which makes it a little bit bulbous. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I feel like I got it in my head that I needed to have it for collection because people were so desperate to get their hands on the collection. But do I really need it? No. And I have so many editions of uh, Akatar, it's, in, it's insane. So I feel like I don't need this. As much as I want it, I'm never going to read this edition. I'll, I'll get rid of it. I do have the original four paperbacks here, which everybody seems to want and love. Um, I got mine on Depop. I got the first one in a charity shop for £2. And I got the rest on Depop for a tenner. So I feel pretty chuffed about that. Um, and I do want to keep these. As awful as the covers are, I do enjoy owning them because I don't like the new covers, so we'll keep them. But I did get rid of a book. I did not expect that from the shelf. So I don't think there's anything to get rid of on this shelf, to be honest. I've got many editions of Rebecca. 
Um, they're not going. <laughs> I love them. I have one of my favourite books as a child. Love that book. Um, I have a copy of Emma. I mean, this should be on my TBR because I've never actually read it, but I'm not reading this edition because it's like plastic pages. Like I would, I would hate to read this, but it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna like either read the ebook or buy another edition to read. I have two very recent editions to my bookshelves: the Brothers Grimm and the Peter Pan, Nina Lima illustrated edition. So that's staying. So no progress on the shelf. However, let me tell you, there are some options on this shelf we are getting rid of some stuff on this shelf this is like my most added to since 31 books in 31 days um this is a very full shelf i do like the way it's rainbowed but i also can't not keep series together so it's not perfect rainbow but let's go through and let's go through from left to right i bought this as an arc just recently you saw it um however my sister wants to read it so i'm gonna unhaul it and give it to her just get my copy back and it's ruined already <laughs> I'm gonna keep Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm gonna keep Yoke because I absolutely loved it. Same with the fine print. Blue Book of Nebo. I'm gonna get rid of this. I thought it was okay. I gave it a three. Um, but it wasn't anything phenomenal. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Catherine House. So do a reread. I loved it. Wilder Girls. Love it. One True Loves. My new favourite book of the year. Like, I, I love that book. Ugly Love. Really liked it. A Brush With Love, absolutely such a good book. I'm so excited for Maisie Edding's new book. Uh, the Cheat Sheet, I did just read this. I gave it four stars. I really, really liked it. However, it's fade to black and so not something I see myself reading again, which I know sounds really like snotty. But I just, I feel like there was a lot of things that I didn't think about this at the time. Like the characters are kind of 2D. Um, but that's fine. I just don't think this is something I would read again. I was going to say anytime soon, but I think ever. So as much as I enjoyed it, I'm going to pass it on. We have the love hypothesis I will never get rid of. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I have a copy of Love on the Brain, where I gave it one star. Connor had pre-ordered it for me and we both forgot to tell him to cancel it. So I do have a copy. However, I'm going to reread this because after I read this and gave it one star, I read the Steminist novellas and really, really liked them. And I feel like I was just not in the mood for this. So I'm going to go back into it because I own the copy anyway so I'm keeping it to give it a second chance <laughs> I have it ends with us really like that book love the Spanish love deception when life gives you mangoes I don't particularly love this book but it was the first book that my re review ever got put into so I'm keeping it <laughs> we have the roommate and the intimacy experiment I'm keeping both of these I thought they were such good books now these um this is the i don't even know what it's called but it's the trilogy written by helen huang and <sighs> i have problems with this series i think it is just especially this book just problematic and i'm just not a fan so <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of these the kiss quotient the bride test and the heart principle i'm sure someone else will really really like these just not me we have Before the Coffee Gets Cold and Tales from the Cafe. And we have Ready Player One. Now, I love this book. Five stars. Absolutely phenomenal. Probably the only sci-fi book I've ever liked. But I will never reread this, I'm pretty sure. I don't see myself ever needing to go back to it. So I just don't think I want to keep it on my shelves. Um, so I am. I'm going to get rid of it. As much as I really enjoyed this book, and I did, definitely. Five star read. I just don't need it. So there is so much more space on the shelf, which is so good and important because this is kind of the shelf that gets added to most when I get through my, you know, TBR of paperback books. So I'm really, really happy with this progress. Okay, so this is my like hardback shelf where it just gets randomly added to. We have a nice Tina. Let's move Tina. Come on, Tina. <laughs> First up, we have two things that aren't books. We have like this photo album that holds all of my tarot cards and posters and stuff we have a secret book that just has a bunch of my bookmarks which i never use anymore because i have my own bookmark business so i just use those i have madeline miller's galatea i really love this book i have the nature of witches now i didn't like this book that much um but it was just such a thoughtful gift from connor because he found this copy for me 
And this is in fact the most stunning edition on my shelves, but I just, I just really didn't like this book. And instead of feeling happy when I see it, I just feel sad that I didn't love the book. So I'm going to see if Connor would like it. He knows how much I appreciate it. Um, and that's why I'm wondering if he will want to read it, as he is in a YA phase more than I am. We have The Mad Women's Ball. I absolutely love this book, it's not going anywhere. We have Young Women, and this is the final copy. I read my ARC copy, which I got rid of, but I'm now gonna get rid of this final copy as well. I really like the book, it's nothing against the book. I'm just not ever gonna read this again, so I'm gonna give it to someone else. We have The Wolf Den. This is my hardback copy, which I replaced my paperback with, keeping for sure. Then we have The Watchers. I'm keeping this, it's one of my favorite horrors. Hide. I read this in my 31 books in 31 days and I really didn't like it. The first half is amazing, um, the second half not so much. Which is actually so disappointing because I made a bookmark on my Etsy inspired by this book because I thought I was going to love it so much. But I didn't, so this is going to go. Again, okay, a gift from Connor, so I feel really bad about it. But we neither of us liked it, so he'll understand. I have The Space Between Worlds. Again, this was a lovely gift from Connor and one I keep the note half in the front that Lauren wrote when he bought it for me because it makes me so emotional. This is the Illumicrate copy, I believe it's Illuminate, Illumicrate, <laughs> um, I think so. Anyway, I don't even like sci-fi and this book didn't blow me away, it was a four star, but I keep it because this is again one of those books that just makes me emotional. But Connor was so kind as to give it to me. We have Electra and Ariadne, I'm keeping both of these books. We have Susie, I'm keeping. Let's just have, we've got River Enchanted, City of Girls, and My Dark Vanessa. Keeping all of these, I was very lucky to have a signed edition of City of Girls, which I'm very, very happy with. I'm going to be honest, the next two shelves, no chance I'm getting rid of anything. So we'll just move on. So the next three shelves are my TBR, and this is my romance shelf. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can see me. I'm trying desperately to get these angles without me in them, but it's very difficult. Um, let's go from this side. First of all, we have this Jane the Virgin book, Snow Falling. I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping Don't Kiss the Bride for now, even though that is a very damaged copy. Keeping Sophie's Voice for now. Keeping Dating Dr. Dill. <laughs> yeah, one summer, yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm still really invested in the synopsis of this one. But I did say to myself I had to read it in August because otherwise I realised I had no in, like interest in it. But reading the blurb again, I'm really intrigued. I'll keep it a little bit longer, but I'm not sure how much longer I will keep it on there for. Good Girl Complex. Now, I have this and I really want to read this. However, nobody has given this a good review that I follow. Nobody. It has terrible reviews on um, Goodreads. Uh, I don't know. I, it doesn't sound interesting to me other than the fact I just read Heartbones by Holly, Colleen Hoover and I have not been able to get a beach setting out of my head since then. Like all I wanted to do is read a book by the beach and this says it's set in a seaside town. That makes me want to read it. Okay, I'll keep that. <laughs> Next we have Crazy Rich Asians. I only just got this one and I'm really excited about reading it. I don't actually know if this is a romance. I just put it on there. I don't know. Twisted Love. Hmm, these two. I am going to get rid of these. I literally just got them, but I shouldn't have. I'm going to give them to my sister because they are YA, YA romances. And I just don't think I'm going to enjoy them the way she would enjoy them. Then I've got The Staycation. I've never actually read that, so let me have a read of the synopsis. Okay, that actually sounds really interesting. We're keeping this one. We have the handover. Um, I've heard this is quite sad, so I'm not really sure. It sounds really interesting. Like it's about two security guards at a museum who only see each other for five minutes a day when they're doing the handover to each other for work, and then something happens at the museum and they end up seeing more of each other. I, it does sound interesting. I just don't think I'm going to pick it up over the rest of these books, to be honest. Next, we have a collection of Connie Hoover, who I'm keeping and hopefully reading soon. Okay, so my second TBR shelf. First of all, we have three of the set Susan Peckinham and Caroline, no, Susan Valenti and Caroline Peckham books. Like the last book in the, the Academy series that I have to read. 
Fierce Buck and the Kings of Quarantine series and the Dark Fairy series. Those are 100% staying. Once they were boards, I was so desperate to read this. Like, I was so into it. And now I'm just not. I'm just not vibing with it. I'm just not sure I care anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This sounds so interesting. It sounds so up my alley and so my cup of tea. Um, so I'm going to keep with this one. Same with The Devil Makes Three, The Witch's Heart. I'm really excited for that one. Same with this one. Let's have a look at this. Very, very intrigued by this one. These two on top are brand new to my TBR as of yesterday. So I'm, I'm very excited about these. So these are not going anywhere. Yes to this one. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. These two can go. Um, I've got An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. It's not that I'm not interested. I just would have picked it up by now if I wanted to. And I haven't. So it's got to go. And this one I picked up not knowing it was the second in the series. And I'm just not interested anymore. So it's going to go. So that is that shelf. I'm impressed. We got rid of the overflow and made it all at least into one shelf. So that's good. Okay, it's kind of hard to get an angle of this last shelf, but this is my hardback shelf. Um, I'm not sure how many we'll be able to get rid of from here, but let's have a look through. We have Our Violent Ends, we're really excited for this one, yep. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of these are going to be able to go. Hmm, this one, I'm not going to read it as much as I want to and it sounds really interesting. I've had it for way too long, like at least four months, and I'm just... I just haven't read it yet, so I'm not going to. So this is going to go. Fury Born. This sounds so interesting. Everybody loves it. But I'm coming out of my YA phase now. And I just don't think I'm going to get out of it what I want to get out of it. So, plus, it's deckled edges. So I wouldn't be able to read the physical copy anyway. Because there's no way. I think that's all I'm going to get rid of from this shelf. So I did get rid of two from here. So that are all the, those are all the books I own that I could show you to unhaul. I feel like I've got rid of so many. Um, I did not expect to get rid of that many. That was insane. Um, wow. I just got rid of 32 books. The pile looks insane. Wow. I'm so happy with that. Like, I feel like my, my shelves are breathing a bit again. I definitely want to make some progress on my TBR because these shelves are a little too full. They're a little overflowing, you know. <laughs> We made some progress, but I just don't need to read all these books, or at least I need to read them quicker. I'm just popping in to say these are some of the books I've unhauled over the last two months as I've been going, um, because I tend to unhaul as I read. So these are 22 books I've unhauled recently, in addition to the 32 I unhauled today. So 54 books in total is not bad. But yeah, that was such a good breath of fresh air. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it either gave you a bit of motivation or it was just fun to watch. Let me know if you think I made a, um, a wrong decision down below. Let me know if you've unhauled any books recently and what you unhauled. Or if you saw anything on my shelves that you think I wouldn't like, like my TBR shelves, and I should get rid of, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.